Okay, here's a quick video to demonstrate the tip of the day functionality that I implemented on my blog. Uh, to get the script used in this video, just look for the link in the description below to get to that blog. So here in our Office 365 site, we have a list. It's called TOTD for tip of the day. You can see it has a title field that has the title of the tip. It has a tip field, which can be either a single line of text or a plain multi-line text field and then the date that you want the tip to display. Here we are in SharePoint Designer and you can see we have our script which we have uploaded to our site assets directory. Uh, it's got some styling for the tip. It's got a placeholder for the tip and the div and then the script which basically makes a REST query uh, and looks for that tip from the list. Uh, this, again the blog has a script for both SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint 2010. So let's get this to work. Let's go into our SharePoint site again, and I'm going to edit our page. And here I'm going to insert a content editor web part. Media and content, content editor. And I'm going to edit this web part now. And we are going to link it to our script which is inside assets tip of the day.js I'm also going to change the title of the web part to tip of the day and then I'll apply that so you can see it's displaying our tip of the day let's go ahead and save it so it says tip of the day don't be dumb look both ways before crossing the street if we go and look at our list you can see that is the uh, tip of the day for today. If I go into the script and I tell it and I pass in false, it means don't show the tip for today, just get a random tip and display the random tip. So if I set that to false and save it, and now we go back into the site and go to the first page, you can see it's a different tip now. Don't be gross. If we refresh, it's still shows that one because it's random and now we're seeing don't be rude so you can see it is going through and randomly displaying um, tips so yeah so get the script play with it again uh, the only caveat about the script is if you're doing the just show me a random tip it loads all of the uh, tips in the list and then select randomly selects one just to keep the rest queries to a, a minimum so don't put too many tips in your list um, feel free to play with the script good luck and thanks